What's going on, everybody? Hobby news, hobby news. We're going to talk about Panini today. They actually signed, this is about two weeks ago, signed their first high school player to a card autograph deal. So that means exclusive. When we talk about exclusive, we're talking about how Tops had Mike Trout. I'm sure there were other names, too. I just remember Trout off of my head, top of my head there. Upper deck owns Jordan. LeBron stuff, I believe, is dying down here. He's signed like a 10-year deal. Um, ben Simmons, uh, Wayne Gretzky, Serena Williams. Th there's a bunch that belong just solely to Upper Deck. Now, I did know before this and reading it, I knew of two players that had exclusive Panini deals to sign with. And that is Luca and Mbappe for soccer. We'll talk about that here a little, a little bit in this video towards the end here. What I thought was really interesting here was they signed somebody in high school. So they're pulling that guy away. And now when Tops and Fanatics come into play, it's like, okay, you took three of the top quarterbacks out of this last draft. We're going to start signing them out of high school and stuff where we could do the NIL stuff. And you guys ain't going to be able to use them for your stuff. Maybe we start seeing a war with uh, companies now starting to, you know, grab a hold and take. These younger athletes hoping that, you know, maybe they can secure deals or, you know, something's going to happen in the future with it all. But we'll take a look and see on to it. Now, with Trey Johnson, he's the one signed the multi-year deal. It's not a lifetime deal like Jordan owns with Upper Deck. And I believe Gretzky has a lifetime and Tiger Woods. And I think Serena Williams is also on a lifetime, if I recall right. But what was interesting was each state has different, like, it says stringent NIL rules. So instead of this kid staying in Texas, his family picked up moved to Missouri where he just took the big deal like that. I mean, you can't blame him. He's going to get paid for his autographs, and he's going to make money before he even tries to make a name for himself, whether he goes, you know, college, which I think Blue talks about, like, four schools in here. I just know Kentucky was one I'm offhand. And, you know, they're not going G League. They're not going overseas to get experience, whatever it may be. And Trey, Trey Johnson. Trey Johnson is the name here. So, kind of cool. There's a little picture. Uh, oh, yep. Here it is. He transferred from Link Acad or to Lincoln Academy in Branson, Missouri for a senior season. Signed with Lyft Sports Management for Neil Representation. He's currently playing on the U.S. Men's National Team at the FIBA U-19 Men's World Cup in Hungary. Pretty cool, though, to see this. I mean, back in the day, you got to remember, college athletes, high school athletes got nothing for this stuff. And then it started getting worked and worked and worked. Next thing you know, they started getting some money for all this stuff that, you know, other people were making money off their names, their autographs, whatever it may be out there. Uh, there was, okay, here's the colleges. Baylor, Texas, Kansas, and Kentucky are the likely landing spots. I just remember Kentucky because uh, there was articles out here on it for UK. And he's anticipated to be the 2025 NBA lottery pick. Now, if you look, this is where it says joins Luca, Barkley, um, the Thompson brothers who were just drafted, David Beckham soccer, Christian Pulisic soccer, and Mbappe is Panini exclusive athletes so what i want to talk about with this here because you're gonna have all these athletes that are gonna be exclusive to certain companies for uh basically autographs and everything else out there it's gonna start this big war going on you know licensing's all in tops from the axe corner minus hockey soccer still you know i guess you could say anybody's game out there with it but the three big ones you know once Panini loses those NBA licenses with Barkley and Luca. Or we we're not going to see. In my opinion, you're not going to see another NBA uniform Luca autograph out there. So, however they portray it with whatever jersey, maybe Team USA jerseys, I have no idea what it will be. But we'll probably end up seeing maybe something down the road with Panini to where, you know, with their products, they'll start being like. Uh, Oh, Upper Deck has. Is it Goodwin Champions? You guys correct me if I'm wrong. Something similar to that. Maybe, I don't know, somehow they do Bowman U. Maybe there's going to be a high school sports cards now. Talk about prospecting there. Jeez, oh man. 
that's going to be crazy if you have to start prospecting high school players for football and um, freaking basketball. I mean, baseball is just bad enough with the draft. But a big thing I was looking at was with Luca. You know, they try to push him to be the face of the NBA. With that being said, you know, no championships, da da da, all that stuff yet on Luca. But if he's not signing for anybody but Panini. Panini loses licensing. There's only so many Luca autographs that are going to be out there. So it starts as a sports card collector. If you want to call yourself an investor out there, whatever, flipper, I, I don't know, reseller and all that stuff, you start thinking, are Luca's autographs, you know, five, ten years down the road, going to be worth more? Almost like how Tom Brady stops signing, and then when he does, he's very little. You know, it, it just starts making you the know, wheels turn. Like, do I start buying Lucas right now to hold at their prices 10 years down the road? I don't know. Not giving anybody any advice. Go buy Luca autos and hold them for 10 years, and they'll buy you a house or a Ferrari or an island or what's that? Or a Tesla. But it just starts making people think, like, hmm, I might not, might hold on to my Luca autos for the next five, 10 years and not really move any because I don't need to. And see what happens with same with Charles Barkley. He didn't sign for the longest time. Then they really pumped out a lot of Charles Barkley autos. The Thompson brothers, like I said, they're exclusive now to Panini. Back complicit Mbappe. That's a huge one out there because everybody was running for them first Mbappe autos. But just like I said, gets the wheels and the bus going round and round in the mind when you start seeing stuff like this and realizing, huh. Limited Jordan autos, limited LeBron autos, limited Gretzky, Tiger Woods. And now you're looking at like where they produced a lot of Barkley and Luca for just a, a you know short periods of time. Where will they go with it once they lose their NBA licensing? You know, I don't know how long their contracts are and stuff. I guess there's probably a website you can go look at the stuff on to it. But with them starting to grab up high school basketball player here and probably going to start they'll probably start trying to do that with football and you know other sports as well too just to start locking them up and be like hey we can wait you guys out to the next licensing 10 to 20 years down the road you never know what's going on with everybody out there the the battle for supreme i guess or supremacy uh would be the better word of the sports card world instead of them actually licensing all like you know three or four companies letting them fight it out with their products and letting the collectors choose what they like now we're kind of stuck with this is what they give us take it or leave it type deal all right guys that is it for this video let me know what you guys think of this here um it, it was just one of those things that just dawned on me when i came across the article this was about a week ago and i read this and i was like wow you know in so many years might not see a Luke Auto in NBA uniform anymore. You know, same thing with um, soccer. If soccer ends up just taking straight licensing with Fanatics or something like that out there, what's that happen with these three top players for their autos as well? All right, guys, I'm out. Catch you next one.